hello everyone welcome to another episode of t-shirt design tutorial so here i am working for a client and this is an example he sent me this is their previous year's design and this year he wants something new so this is a high school water polo t-shirt team so this is a design for the high school water polo team and this is a concept i made for him and he liked it and asked me to change a bit that is he want me to make this ball wearing a water polo hat so this is a hat i am taking you can see i was searching for water polo hat and this position is really good for me i find that interesting and here i will make it look like this ball is wearing that hat kind of like this so i will just reduce the opacity a little bit here so this is how i am going to draw this and just to help you understand i will draw it like so this area is going to be on top of my ball as you can see like this and this part is going to be visible because this is in front of the hat and this part of the hat like this background part this is not going to be visible so anyway i am just going to make this illustration here very quick i am going to select this two and i am going to lock it so that they don't move from their place and for making a drawing like this we can simply use our pen tool we can use our brush tool whatever you are good with so i am going to use my brush tool for this one and this is going to be a little drawing tips for you too so i am making art brush with this ellipse i can simply use my graphic tablet here or a, i have a very expensive pen display i can use that but that is not going to help you guys so i am going to make it so that anyone can do this so first of all i need to make this areas here so i am going to just draw some random lines so this is black let's make it okay so as, as you can see i cannot change the color of my brush because when making this brush i made a mistake which is i need to change this on colorize method to hue shift that will work and now i can make it any color i want just like this so that is fine so i'm going to make it a little bit smaller in size of course and then i'm just going to make this rough outline here so this is not the important part of my graphic but still i need to make it as realistic as possible so sometimes we need to adjust it manually and that is fine so as you can see i'm not trying to draw it exactly how it is i am trying to draw it with a little bit of overlapping here and there like this one here so i'll keep it and then i will draw it like this so something like this from there a line here so as you can see this is how you need to draw we can skip some of the details if you want that's up to you okay, so as you can see this this part i am not going to draw because this is not necessary that will be behind the ball and i need to draw this part of this graphic so i'm going to just make this outline here of that black part and then i will add some details for this part you can try to make it as close as possible but this is a drawing so 100 percent is not necessary here so something like this i am using my my mouse and this custom brush i made so anyone can do this also if you are not comfortable with your brush tool you can simply use pen tool that is going to be more accurate than drawing like a, with this brush like this but with a brush like this it is going to take a lot of it is going to save a lot of time because this is really easy to draw like this compared to the pen tool and other styles
so sometime it can be like this and then also we can just modify it with our direct selection tool so i'm drawing with my brush tool but still i can modify it however i want so that is the border of the design that is what i wanted and here i will just draw this outer shape of this hat here just like this that is fine i will just add some details like this for this area just like that if you want you can add some details from this part too so that is good okay so as you can see this is how it is going to look right now and this is my overall drawing of the hat i don't need this inner part of the design so that is good and for this ball here okay let's try to complete this design now so as you can see this is how it is going to look but as you can see in this drawing i have a ball and this drawing i made but they are in two different art styles which is this ball is in flat color without any strokes and this one is in a stroke color so i need to fix that and for fixing that i'm going to select this brush this ball i'm going to make a offset path of it but that is going to be really smaller just maybe as small as these strokes are then i'm going to click ok then i'm going to merge unite so merge unite is going to make it something look like this and then again i'm going to make another offset path because there are some areas missing as you can see in this area and this is making a bit gap here so maybe another offset path is going to fix that so something like this that is fine so i'm going to cut it i'm going to select this original one okay so i'm going to change the color of it just like this i'm going to paste that in the background so as you can see now i have two shape on is this ball and on is this offset path so i'm going to make it black then i'm going to press ctrl f to paste it in the front now i'm going to select everything and then i'm going to make it trim so trim will trim out everything from here i'm going to ungroup this group then select this one and go to select same fill color that will select everything in that color now just cut this one so as you can see now i have a ball in that outline or a stroke style so to match with that maybe i can simply select my this group and i can increase the ops stroke size that will match with the strokes of my ball so this is how it is looking right now don't worry about it so i'm going to change the color so that we can see i'm going to expand everything from here so there are no more strokes they are fill colors right now so this is how it is looking that is completely fine i'm going to select this ball here open transparency make sure your color is 100 percent black and with a black color i'm going to just take my pencil tool to draw some areas draw some shapes like this the areas i don't want to be visible i'll just draw a shape on top of them so i want these parts of the ball to become invisible so i am drawing these shapes here and everything anything we draw in black inside transparency makes them invisible so we are not erasing these parts we are just hiding them so by any chance if you don't like it or if it needs any kind of changes i can come back here and do that so as you can see this is how it is looking so it is looking like that ball is wearing this hat or whatever it is so this is how it is going to be now for this area there is some issues as you can see these shapes are overlapping a bit so we need to manually fix some of them just to make it look little bit better so here maybe i'll just keep on shape just like this
if necessary we can draw some extra shapes to fill those areas and yeah that is good so i am going to select this one and here i am going to take my live paint bucket tool or press k on your keyboard k will activate this live paint bucket tool and with live paint bucket tool if i press alt it will become eyedropper i can click on any color and that color will be sampled so i am going to fill this area with that color so maybe a bit dark color for this shade here because that is how this was originally okay so as you can see this is how it is looking now i can select this one this ball here so okay so i made this design in one color but if you want you can make it in two color which will be i'm selecting this one pressing k for live paint bucket tool i'm going to pick this white color of this hat so that i can make it look like that white and then i'm going to select this ball i'm just going to okay so ctrl c ctrl b to okay let's not use that i'm going to use this one and this one align them in the exactly center position so this is how it is going to look but this one should be in the background so selecting this one press ctrl b so as you can see this is working but the part we made we hide with the transparency that is now visible so for fixing that i'm going to select this one cut it and now i need to go inside this group and here if i press ctrl b okay so this is a solid shape okay let's try a different way i'm going to select this one press ctrl b this is how it is looking don't worry i'm going to select this black shape and from the transparency panel i will select all and cut it here i am going to just select this one and this one the black part of the ball and the yellow part group it now open transparency and press ctrl f so that will hide everything of that ball like this so i'm going to select this shape i'm going to expand it because we applied light paint bucket tool effect on that inside this group we can simply just take our pencil tool to create some random lines like this to indicate some kind of shadows on this side of this helmet maybe one from here too just like this so that it looks a little bit dramatic so as you can see this is how it is looking i am going to make it a group right now so this is how it is going to be i am going to change this design example here so i will put my text like this maybe a bit upper position that is fine so i need to place the text in right order so i am taking a ruler here and with this help of this ruler i am going to place these two lines here that will place the text in the center position just it will look like this and then this water polo i want to place this text here so let's place everything on top of this in the center position here so this part of this hat is not really necessary so you can overlap that with the important text which is our this text this water polo text so i'm going to create an offset path a bit bigger in size then unite cut it select this one press ctrl b so i'm taking this color for the background shade and here i will select this one this black shape you can see here ctrl c ctrl b again and then i will move it like this so here i will need to select this one and this one not the yellow shape and i will apply the blend effect on it it is going to blend it with another step if i double click on this blend tool this dialog box will open now i am going to select a specified a steps here so now i have one step between these two shapes so if i increase it that is going to smoothly blend it and make it look like it is one shape now click ok 
blend is also an effect so you need to expand it just like this and as you can see there are tons of shapes to make this smooth blend here but don't worry just unite them so that will become one single shape as you can see so this is the effect i wanted to create here which is fine i'm going to group it and then i will just place it like this that will give me this okay so for this one this lower part text is not necessary so i'm going to create a black background for my this one and see how it is going to look so as you can see this is how it is it will look but this effect is invisible right now so to fix that i am going to select this shape here this black shape and i will create an offset path of it i can simply choose this same color ctrl x ctrl b to make it look like this so as you can see this is how it is looking on a black background it is going to this is how it is going to look so i hope this was helpful for you also for this one this shape here if we want i can change the slanted style of this text which is from this share option and as you can see if i tweak these numbers here i can fix that so it is going to be 10 degree to make it a straight looking so this is how it is looking if we want we can use a little bit extra detail here just to fill these areas now i'm going to select this one i'll make it align to the center so i hope it, it was helpful guys let me know if you have any questions so this is how you can work for fiber clients so thank you very much guys see you in the next video have a great time